Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. This week we're talking about DFARS, NIST SP800171, and CMMC. What is a system security plan, or SSP? So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all of this DFARS, NIST SP-800171, and CMMC compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload. If you feel like you're drawing, drowning in the hundreds of pages of confusing legalese and hard to understand techno mumbo jumbo, or even if you just need help connecting the dots for the leaders in your company between getting compliant and how it can lead to growth and higher profits, well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump into it. So if you're watching this video and maybe you're just getting started with the, uh, with your organization's compliance in DFARS, NIST SP-800171, uh, or you're getting ready for CMMC certification, you will likely come across the term SSP. And no, it's not a cool catchphrase from a rap song, at least not to my knowledge. But then again, you never know, I'm like 40 and maybe Lil Wayne actually beat me to it. Anyway, uh, an SSP is an incredible idea and concept which allows you to systematically take action and fix problems. We actually use SSPs as a part of our normal business operations beyond compliance to make massive progress in our work and company every day. So first, SSP stands for System Security Plan. So basically what's going to happen is, as you're going through the controls, you need a way to actually document what your answers are to those controls. Now, the coolest thing is that the government actually already uh, did this for you, uh, and they've actually provided you a template. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's right. The government actually did something helpful with your tax dollars. Yeah, with your tax dollars. By making more regulation and requiring you to be compliant and almost not showing you how to get compliant, well, anyway, like taxes, they gave you this form. <laughs> so you actually go to the same website where NIST SP-800171 is, you know, the hundreds of pages of documentation, you know, you go find that, and you'll actually be able to download a government-provided system security plan. It's an example they give, and it's a great starter template. Okay, so go get it now. I'll wait. Not really, because time is money. Okay, so once you've got this template in hand, you're basically going to just follow it. Fill in the blanks, and at the end of the big, hairy, long document, you're going to have detailed answers which follow the controls on exactly how you are going to be compliant. All of them. All of those controls. Yep, I'm serious. This will serve as demonstrable proof or demonstrable proof or some kind of proof that you actually have a plan on how you're going to secure yourself and be compliant. That is the most important step in becoming compliant with NIST SP-800171. Now, it's not everything you have to do, it's just the hardest and biggest piece. So again, just because you have an SSP doesn't mean you're compliant, but you're a lot closer. Now, I have a few hints for you when creating an SSP or a system security plan. First, I highly recommend not writing crazy extensive detailed stuff about how you're put together. Okay, remember, you may potentially have to show this to people outside of your organization, such as assessors or, in an extreme case, prime vendors. Okay? Yes, you could potentially have to show your system security plan to a prime vendor to prove that you're compliant. That is a fact. We often do not list the specific settings or solutions versions within the plan because those things change way too often, right? Hey, security changes from time to time as needs change. Instead, we oftentimes describe their functionality Ding! There's a huge hint, right, about how we put these things together. So again, I like to describe functionality versus any specifics on the solution within the plan, right? Ultimately, the SSP is what you need to demonstrate that you have a plan in place for being compliant and securing the CUI within your organization. It's also the evidence needed to prove you are following what is required to be compliant. At least, it's a good start. There's actually a lot more you need, such as evidence you are actually doing the things listed in your plan, but we'll leave that for another day. And of course, if you still have questions about your system security plan, well, you guessed it. Go to cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the links in the bio. Now, uh, at On Call, we take defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, CMMC, ITAR, and EAR information security compliance stuff 
dropped in their laps like a seagull on a sunny day. And we teach you how to level up and be a proper on-call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now that's what becoming an on-call compliance hero can do for you. If you're looking for more information on getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us put help us with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance there is rolled out. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.